We are thrilled to invite you to an exclusive night in New York with the Jonas Brothers this Saturday, March 18th. The evening will consist of a private cocktail party with the brothers at the Republic Records studio where you can meet and mingle with Nick, Joe, and Kevin. We meet the fucking Jonas Brothers today. I'm not okay. Oh my God. I did have an awkward moment happen that I just want to bring up because it's embarrassing. Hello guys. Guess what this vlog is? I can't even say it out loud. I got invited to hang out with the Jonas Brothers in New York City. I'm 27 years old and I'm like just picturing my 14 year old self hearing that sentence. That's insane. Like when I say I was obsessed, like that's an understatement. I'm one of three sisters. Like obviously you guys know Gabby, but I also have an older sister named Alex. And growing up, we were all like really close in age. So we always looked like triplets. You could tell we were sisters. And we swore we were the female versions of the Jonas Brothers. Like I was Nick, Gabby was Kevin. <laughs> and our older sister Alex was like, I'm Joe. But like the girl versions, we swore that each Jonas Brother belonged to each one of us and that we were we're each gonna marry each Jonas brother. So the Jonas brothers are doing this thing right now called Jonas Brothers Broadway, where they're literally performing all their old albums. Tried getting tickets, sold out, no luck. My assistant, Haley, you guys know well from the vlogs, she is such a Jonas Brothers fan. When this invite came in my email, I knew I had to invite Haley because she's like such a diehard fan. We'd also love to invite you to their private after party at The Stranger immediately following. I didn't even know we were going to the after party. This is gonna be a night. And you know what's crazy? I don't even have to shop for this. I got an old Jonas Brother baby tea chilling upstairs in my closet and um, we're gonna whip it out. You guys ready? Here's the infamous Jonas Brothers shirt. Boom. Oh my God, this is cute though. Do I do it? Option one. These pants are a vibe. But I feel like I've worn this outfit before. This is like a punk version of the Jonas Brothers. Okay, so I took off the fishnet thingy, but I did find this vest and I remember back then everybody wore these. Oh wait, this is a vibe. Oh my God, this is cute. Oh, I'm digging. Oh yes, 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 this is what I'm wearing. I cried when I found out he had diabetes, did you? Oh yeah, a little bit longer and I'll be fine. <laughs> it's just diabetes, babe, he's not gonna die. <laughs> Should I wear these earrings or is that going too far? No, too far. Too far? Got the goods. Got the goods. Let the morning begin. I can't believe we see, the, we, no, we don't just see the Jonas Brothers today. Stop talking about it. We meet them. We meet them. I cried like four times this morning. We meet them. Good morning, guys. So Haley and I just picked up our Starbucks. She just got into town and- the Dragon drink. Yeah, we are, we gotta get ready and then head to the city, but we wanna get ready here. Yeah, so we're gonna get everything done that's stressful here at the house. And then we're gonna drive to the city, like ready to see them. So that way, like that takes one thing off our plate. You guys would be so proud of me. While I was doing my makeup, I also made a TikTok, and that's a goal of mine. I've been really wanting to double up the content on here and also on TikTok. I ended up finding this photo on Instagram of this really cool star eye makeup look, and I think this is the perfect event to try this makeup look, and it actually turned out really cute, and it made me a lot more confident in regards to being able to double up the content. Dude, look at this. Not trying to gas myself up, but slay. That's a slay. I'm really feeling like doing something different with my hair. I literally always wear it down and wavy and I kind of like haven't done like a slick moment and I kind of want to slick my hair. I love how I did my hair. This was completely improvised and so was the makeup. You guys been keeping up with my vlogs or Gabby's vlogs you guys would know the Walker Hotel this is where Gabby and I always stay every time we go in and out of New York City this is the perfect small hotel room and 
I also, for some reason, had the most difficult time picking out what to wear for this event. I'm just trying on all these different outfits, and I ended up going with the old school Jonas Brothers merch because I had to. I also ended up wearing the lace bodysuit with the pants and the really cool belt, and I kind of mixed two outfit options together, and I'm really happy with how it went. So great. Oh my god. Oh my god, 2008, that is amazing. This is wild. It's a little cringy, but I don't care. No, but I'm actually literally She's obsessed with that. You oh my god, stop, you guys, that's We're amazing. Are you with I don't care how cringy it is. This is crazy. I feel like suddenly I'm 14 again. Oh my god. So, um, this is Devin. We, he's shooting my like EP project the day after tomorrow. Literally two days. We did not discuss that we were both gonna be no. at this event. And we're both like putting like stressing putting the shoot together <laughs> and we're just like We hey. were just on Zoom <laughs> yesterday and little did we know. <laughs> Literally. I love your stars. Thank this is you. so funny. This is so casual, it's almost like weird. Like everybody's just I'm standing scared. around. I'm scared. Like everybody's literally just standing around. We're just w staring at a backdrop because they're gonna walk out. Are they just gonna like casually walk out? Like, it's so low key in here. All right, so we just came back to change before going to the Jonas Brothers show, like the Jonas Brothers on Broadway. And um, still can't wait to give you guys the story time. But we changed into this. I honestly feel like my outfit was cute, don't get me wrong. But Haley is doing it right. Like she's literally wearing like a leather skirt and it's styled right. I feel like my outfit with the long sleeves underneath was giving like real fangirl. Like, I am fangirl. No, but like it was giving you like my mommy my took me, my mommy took me to a meet and greet and it's cold out so I have to wear a long sleeve shirt underneath my merch. That's the vibe. <laughs> That's the vibe it was giving. But yeah, this is what we're wearing now, and we're about to go see the show. Okay, catch up with you guys. There's also an after party after the show. I'm gonna try my best to like vlog it on the phones, but yeah, I'm not. I'm definitely not allowed to bring this camera into the venue, so we're gonna switch to my iPhone. But I'm gonna bring you guys along. I literally look like shit right now, but I promised you guys I would recap what happened and I know that if I don't do it now I'm not going to and I, I need to recap what happened because yesterday was like me and Haley keep saying it was the most un like predictable. Unpredictable <laughs> like okay when you think you're going to like Meet the Jonas Brothers and then go to their show and then go to an after party You think it's gonna be like wholesome and like not that like chaotic. Dude, guys, like the after party was like the most chaotic thing I've ever been to in New York City. <laughs> Joe was DJing. I feel like I got stepped on. That's like how hard everybody went. I didn't even drink. I literally didn't even drink at the after party. And the reason why it was so crazy was because it was number one pack and everyone was fucking bopping and dancing and like my feet, I swear to God, were bleeding inside my shoes. Everyone went hard. Did not expect that.
But yeah, me and Haley met them. And I want to just tell you guys how it was meeting each one because they were, they're so different. And like, I did have an awkward moment happen that I just want to bring up because it's embarrassing. Okay, so Haley, we were like standing at the table in our merch and Nick Jonas comes up to us. And I think right away, like he could tell we were fans because we were like wearing them on our shirt. It's fine. <laughs> And nobody else was, but that's okay. <laughs> and um, he came up to us, and we were the first people he came up to. I didn't even know it was Nick Jonas when he came up. I saw out of the corner of my eye somebody coming up to our table, and it was just, like, really, like, just chill. I really thought it was, like, one of the influencers or somebody from Republic Records, but it was Nick. And all of a sudden, I turn around, and he's, like, talking to Haley, like, hey, like, do you want to take a picture? And they're, like, I was, like, sure. And they're, like, oh, good, right. I got to take the photo. And then I took a photo, and I'm, like, trying not to freak out. And then it's my turn, and I had this, like, envision of, be of like, taking a digital photo with the Jonas Brothers because it's, like, giving 2008. So I'm, like, panicky, and I hand Haley the digital camera, and she takes a photo, and it's like, at least on an iPhone, you can take a few if like one's bad. You only have time for one. You only have time a digital camera. for one on a digital camera. And the photo, like I'm cheesing so hard. I look so bad, but at least I look happy. So the second Jonah's brother we meet is Kevin. Oh God, that one, I'm he embarrassed. Kevin. I don't know. I'm embarrassed for myself. <laughs> Poor man. You traumatized him. I'm like, I meet Kevin and um, I show him the photo of me and my sisters wearing a shirt that says, I heart Nick, I heart Joe, I heart Kevin. And I show him the photo and I said, yeah, I'm one of three sisters from like the Jersey area, like PA Jersey. We grew up like thinking each one of us were destined to be with one of you guys. LOL, like look at this photo. And I showed the photo and then he was like, well... I'm married to the best Jersey girl. Which is true. Yeah, Which obviously. True. But we were just like, oh, well, like, first of all, she was like, and I was like, oh, like, oh, God. Like, did he think that, like, I was, like, trying to say that I still think I'm destined because, like, you're married? I, we, like, I don't know. Agree. And we did see her later on in the night, and she... Stunning. Yeah, that wasn't the point, but it was just really funny. Yeah, I was like, uh-oh, did I, like, set myself up? <laughs> I married the best Jersey girl, and you're like, okay. And then we, like, went to take a photo, and I, like, you know when you go to take a photo, you're just like this. I went to go like that, and it was just, like, hand in pocket. And I was like, <gasps> Okay, and then last but not least, Joe. Joe's vibe. Uh, he came up to me and Haley, and he, right away he looked at my makeup, and he's like, I like your makeup. And I was like, oh my god, Joe Jonas complimenting my makeup? Cool. Joe's our new bestie. We love Joe. And like, he took a photo. I forget, we said more than that. I just feel like I black out when I meet people. And in the photo, he was doing a peace sign. I was taking out my tongue. It was the most, like, I think like he was the most comfortable for sure. You know, like looking back, I'm like, oh, yeah, I was obsessed with the Jonas Brothers. But like last night when I was watching the show, it all came back to me. Like I remembered why I was utterly obsessed. And... I don't know, they, they all have such different personalities and they're like low-key chaotic together in their own different ways and it's really cute. It's like just so cute. They're so wholesome. They talked about their being husbands and fathers and the new music was so good and the audience was such a vibe. It was just such a good night. I'm really lucky and glad I was able to go and have that opportunity and... I had so much fun. Like, I literally had so much fun. But, oh, I'm also wearing the Jonas Brothers merch. This is one of their t-shirts. And we also got this hoodie. And Nikki's has all the days. I'm going to catch up with you guys whenever that may be. But I am about to pack and head home. And I'll catch up with you guys. I'm stuck in between love and misery. You can't clean up the